Here I have a pictures and words reading material. So three parts. There are the pictures by themselves, the words by themselves, and then the picture and the word together. Um, if there's too many cards for the child to work with all at once, because it's a lot of pictures, you could split them up into a couple of different sets. So you just make sure that your picture cards, your word cards, and your words with pictures are together. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate a few of these. I'll lay out the pictures first. Then dealing our word cards here are all mixed up, which these are not because they were just cut. It's all mixed up. And you invite the child to read the word. At hat hat. Hmm. Hat. B ed bed bed. G uh m mm. gum. Gum. No, I would not have known that was gum. <laughs> Occasionally the pictures are a little strange. Then, once the child has matched the pictures and the words, you use the um, control cards. I guess I only did a few. I'm looking for the control cards that go with the ones I was at here. So we have the child look at the picture, find the two match, and then read both words and see if they're the same. So we actually want them to read the words again. Gum, 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 gum. They're the same? Yes. Same thing. Bed, bed. Now, if the child had mixed these up, and when they go to the picture, that matches. You'll probably notice by the shape of the word that it's not the same, but we do encourage them to again read it. At, hat, hmm, b, ed, bed. Those are not the same. Let me take this word card out until you figure out where the other mistake has been made. Oh, look, there it is. B, ed, bed. This is um, picture word matching.